one of the things that I wanted to ask you was about thinking. Now, I know a lot of the times you say... I approve. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Because a lot of the times when you're at the seminars, you say that all the stuff that you teach with the NLP is really about thinking. Tell me your thoughts about thinking and why do people not think properly? Well, it's, it's not that they don't think properly. It's that thinking, thinking is, is the programming of the mind. And the difference between unconscious thought and conscious thought is consciousness is where we do the programming and unconsciously it just keeps running. And uh, a lot of the programming in most of us was done inadvertently by teachers and preachers and parents and other well-meaning people that maybe at the time weren't sophisticated about what they did. Plus, through the years, we keep doing things because we're used to it. The brain is a device that's designed to make things familiar so you don't have to constantly learn the same thing over and over again. The problem is, is when we gen make generalizations about the world in which we live, it, it reduces our ability to sense what's outside it because we don't need to. And uh, oddly enough, a lot of people will go to the extreme of, uh, <clears throat> of, of even killing themselves rather than face the unknown. And uh, most people, what's unfamiliar is uncomfortable. And uh, real thinking is when thinking works, it's fine. But when you come up against anything that makes you unhappy, unsuccessful, afraid, uh, and you don't feel like you're functioning well. I noticed from the commercials here in America, they're selling enormous amounts of antidepressants. And the problem is, is they don't make anybody happy. They don't even call them happy pills. They call them antidepressants. So it may reduce the amount of unpleasantness that your depression has, but it doesn't head your brain in the right direction. And it's not till people are, 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 are manifesting things in their life, getting things done, getting better jobs, having successful relationships, uh, feeling good more of the day than they feel bad. And I find that's all a byproduct of the way they think. And if you change the way you think, it changes the way you feel, and therefore it changes what you're capable of doing. And not over years, quickly. The brain doesn't even learn slowly very well. Uh, I know that because uh, I took Russian in school for two years, and I can only speak one word. <laughs> and and uh, yet, you know, on the streets at the same time, I picked up a little bit of every language that was around me living in San Francisco. And uh, it's, if you take a deck of cards and you put stick figures on it and you flip through it, you can see exactly what the pattern of what it does. A little figure will run and jump up or you can make an airplane and it flies on the circle. But if you take one of those and look at it once a week for five years, you, your brain can't pattern it. And uh, the, the truth is we're only born with two natural fears. All the rest are learned and usually they're learned very quickly. Somebody falls in a river and they end up terrified of water. Uh, they go and see the movie Jaws and they're afraid of sharks and uh, afraid to take a shower in Kansas. Uh, it's not that our fears and our doubts and our depressions are unreasonable. They're just familiar. And in the kind of seminars I teach, I teach people to take control of their thinking and to think on purpose. And uh, that, that constitutes the real skill of problem solving. And whether you're talking about making personal changes or you want your business to run better or you want your life to run better or your relationships to run better, it all boils down to changing the way you think. Therefore, it changes what you can perceive and it changes how you feel and it changes what you can do.